Hey, welcome back. Here we are with Will Worsham. This is Speaking Legal, and we're going to have a good discussion today. Uh, I hope. I've got some questions. Okay. Good. Yeah, I hope I have answers. So welcome, everybody. I tell you what, I was uh, on lockdown this weekend, like everybody else, you know, supposed to stay at home. Well, uh, I had to run to Lowe's to grab some mulch. So when I was there, though, the place was packed. Home Depot, Lowe's, all these places are packed. People are out and about. So my question is, are we violating this stay-at-home order by being out doing that? Because Lord knows my wife's got me doing a whole lot of honeydews, <laughs> and there are certain things I need. Yeah, well, it's a good time. You're stuck at home. It's a good time to do things around the house. And, yeah. You know, so, tell me about that. Sure. Well, everybody's under a stay-at-home order, and it means exactly what it means. You need to stay at home, and we all need to follow those rules because it's about flattening the curve. You've got all these key phrases everybody's been hearing, but right. it's about keeping the population from being wholesale infected so that less people get it, less people get sick, less people have lifelong difficulty, and less people die, frankly. It's a safety issue. One of the best things I heard my wife told me, she said, you should act not like you don't want to catch it, but you should conduct yourself as if you already have it and you're trying to prevent the spread. So if you behave like I'm already sick, then you're really going to be uh, doing a better service for all of us by saying, I, I'm pretending I'm sick, so I'm not doing things that might pass it on. So that's a great way to, to handle the stay-at-home order. Now, the order itself, there's the stay-at-home orders, and there are also the social distancing rules, and they kind of go hand-in-hand. Hand. As far as the stay-at-home stay orders go, um, they're really broad, but there's tons of exceptions. So that's why you see a lot of people out, is they may or may not be operating under one of those exceptions. Going to the grocery store, the gas, things like that. Banks are fine, you know, right. financial services are exempted, legal services are exempted, right. um, but you're also allowed to go hiking. You know, that's one of the exceptions. So sometimes people say, well, I see all these people at the parks and they're violating the rules. Well, they're, they're really not violating the stay-at-home order. Now, they may be in violation of the social distancing rule because you are supposed to stay six feet apart, um, and that's to help stop the spread. But just the mere fact that people are out doesn't necessarily mean that they're violating the stay-at-home order as well. Right. So that's, I guess, why you can't go to the gym. Right. Uh, you can't go get your hair cut. Right. You can't get your nails done. Right. But you can go to the bank and make a deposit. You can. And you can go buy groceries and mm -hmm. things like and that. And you can pick up food for carry out. And you know, those are businesses that we need to keep running, I guess. There's a lot of people that need to work. They need Local to pay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, like we've talked before, it's really important to um, patronize those businesses That's as right. much as you can, tip those workers um, because their hours are reduced. You know, I've got a, a son that works in the food service industry, and they're not giving him as many hours right. as he used to get. Now, he, he lives at home, so it's not that big a deal. Right. Um, but, you know, like we were talking before, it's a great time to take advantage of uh, the opportunities we've got while we're under stay-at-home orders and, and uh, you know, do some things. And once again, we are doing our estate planning. We used to do the class in person, but that estate planning group class is now a webinar. And uh, we're doing it every Tuesday night. And so, because I can do it from the comfort of my own living room now, right? Right. So you can you can learn. You can do the webinar. You can get a good book. That's right. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do. Uh, to educate yourself and to, uh, you know, right. learn from this situation. Well, and just because I am sitting at home and we've got some things to do, I've got plenty of work to do. I've gotten pretty busy with some things, but that's probably because I'm doing a lot of my work, my estate planning work, I'm doing it at a discount. And so if you come to our group class and you hear what we have to say, and you're like, yeah, I need that. Of course, everybody does. Then there's going to be some opportunities for you to do some web meetings with me and you'll be able to schedule that and get your estate plan done while we're on lockdown at a discount. And save money. And save money. Hey, thanks for all the good advice every week as usual. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back.